Prescription drug problems lead to an even bigger one for our community. Medical experts will tell you it's often a gateway to heroin use. Heroin use is exploding among young men in particular, ages 19 to 23. It's a highly addictive drug, so it can be incredibly difficult to stop taking. Let's bring in RTV6 reporter Tanya Spencer now. And Tanya, you talked to one young man brave enough, really, to share his story. That's right, Erica. And when we say that the heroin problem is exploding, well, here are some numbers to prove it. The Metro Police Drug Task Force, in just the first half of this year, has seized more than 3,000 grams of heroin. That's up more than 340%, a 340% increase from last year. Year. And it's all walks of life falling into this very dangerous addiction. At only 23 years old, Leland Campbell has spent seven years of his young life getting high every day. Well, I didn't stand up in fifth grade and say, Hi, my name's Leland. I want to be an addict. No, I said, I, uh, I think I said I wanted to be an astronaut. So I, you know, I didn't. I didn't think when I was growing up that this would happen to me. It started after a high school football injury. He was prescribed pills for the pain. I didn't really know that they were addicting. And uh, from there on, it was like I would take so many that the bottle would be gone. When the pills ran out, Leland turned to heroin. Heroin was a lot cheaper to buy. Um, it was flooded the streets. The addiction then grabbed my mind. Uh, I was I was in full-fledged addiction and denial. Heroin is very quick um, and very cheap. And it's very difficult for them to get off of. Rochelle Gardner says because withdrawal symptoms are so bad, it often takes only one time to become addicted. The need to tackle addiction is so great among young people that in February, the Fairbanks Recovery Center started a program specifically for that age group called the Odyssey Program. The need was higher than even they expected. We started on a 16-bed unit um, and within six weeks had to flip our programs to a 24-bed unit um, because of the need. Um, uh, of that population. The thing is, is it doesn't discriminate. It doesn't matter if you're a doctor, you're a lawyer, you're a news person. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. You know, once you do it, it, and you cross that line into addiction, that's it's. You know, that's that's where it starts. It, you know. it took a suicide attempt for Leland to seek help, but now he knows there is hope, and he's willing to share his story if it will encourage someone else to reach out. Now I have a whole new life. I don't have to use or get high or escape from reality. I'm just, I can be myself. I'm not scared of myself. If you think you need help, don't be in denial. Just go out there and get help and, and no, no guilt and shame. You know, it's just like there's a whole other life out there and, you know, you can be anything that you want to be. The Fairbanks Recovery Center has its annual Susan Lee Conference starting tomorrow, which targets drug addiction in young people ages 19 to 23. It runs tomorrow and Friday. You can register online or at the door. Reporting live in the newsroom, Tanya Spencer, RTV6. Let's talk about addiction and overdoses now. In the United States, one person dies every 25 minutes of an accidental drug overdose. And that's why the state has launched a new campaign targeting doctors who overprescribe medicine and warning families of the dangers of extra medicines around the home.